Do you want to install and use multiple custom ROMs on your Xiaomi Poco F1 phone? That's what we're going to do in this video. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get notified of new videos. Hey YouTube, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install and use multiple ROMs on your Xiaomi Poco F1 phone using multi-ROM. So what are the things which we need? You need to have Twerp Recovery installed already. I have a separate video for that. It is linked in the description of this video and it will also pop up as a card on the top right of your screen. The next thing which you need is these three files. The first one is multi-ROM uninstaller in case you want to remove multi-ROM. The second one is multi-ROM zip file which will enable and activate multi-rom on a xiaomi poco f1 and then you need multi-rom capable recovery image file all these files can be found in the xda thread linked in the description of this video go ahead download these files and transfer them to your phone next thing we need is the custom roms which we're going to install on a xiaomi poco f1 using multi-rom so for the purpose of this video we'll be installing nitrogen os Nitrogen OS for the Xiaomi Poco F1 needs OpenG apps and we'll also be installing Pixel Experience. Pixel Experience for the Xiaomi Poco F1 does not need G apps because Google apps are inbuilt in Pixel Experience. Let's now go ahead, go into settings, go into about phone and as you can see right now I am on MIUI 10 beta version based on Android 9.0 Pi and this is going to be my primary ROM. The next thing which we need to do is we need to go into settings once we are in settings we need to go into lock screen and password and over here you need to remove any fingerprint face data screen lock which includes your pin and password from your primary rom do note if you add a pin to your secondary roms or the other custom roms you cannot have a pin on your primary rom so if you're using multi rom i suggest you have a pin or password only on your current rom do not switch between roms which have pin and password set up because it's going to cause you issues. Another important tip is that if you want to root your primary ROM, you have to do it before you install multi-ROM. The next thing which we need to do is we need to boot into Twerp Recovery. So we'll go ahead and power off our phone. Once you have powered off a Xiaomi Poco F1, we'll go ahead and press and hold volume up and at the same time press and hold the power button. And this will make sure that we boot into Twerp Recovery. Once we have booted into Twerp Recovery, we'll go ahead click on install and the first file which we need to install is the multi-rom zip file which we had transferred to our phone. This guy over here, multi-rom-29-11-2018.zip, select it and then swipe to confirm the flash. Once the zip file has installed successfully, go ahead click on the back button and now click on install image. And now we need to select the multi-rom enabled to a recovery zip file which we had downloaded this file over here and on the next screen we'll go ahead and select recovery and then swipe to confirm the flash once that is done we'll go ahead click on the home button now we'll go ahead and click on reboot and on the next screen we need to select recovery now as you can see we have the multi-rom splash logo for the team win to recovery which means we have successfully installed the multi-rom recovery for the Xiaomi Poco F1 phone. Before trying to install any additional ROMs, the first thing which we need to do is go ahead and boot into our primary ROM, which is MIUI 10 at least once. We'll go ahead and click on reboot, select system over here. On this screen, we'll go ahead and click on boot now, which will make sure that we boot into our primary ROM, which is MIUI 10. Once we have successfully booted into MIUI 10, we'll go ahead and power off our device and then boot back into two up recovery. Back into Twerp Recovery, we'll go ahead and select the three bar menu on the top right. Click on Add ROM. On the next screen, we'll go ahead and leave everything as is. So Android and internal storage. Click on Next. On the next screen, leave everything as is. Do not uncheck this option. Leave it checked. Go ahead and click on Zip File. And now we need to navigate to the folder where we have placed our custom ROMs. In my case, it is inside a folder called ROMs. I'll go ahead and select this guy over here. The first ROM which I'm going to install is Pixel Experience. I'll go ahead and select this guy and then swipe to confirm the flash. Once the Pixel Experience ROM has flashed successfully, we'll go ahead and click on the home button. Again, go ahead and click on the three bar menu on the top right. 
add rom leave everything as it is click on next again leave everything as it is click on zip file and now we again need to navigate to the folder where we have our roms in my case it is this folder called roms the next rom which we're going to install is nitrogen os so first we'll go ahead and select this guy and then swipe to confirm the flash we'll first install the rom and then we'll go ahead and install the google apps once Nitrogen OS has installed successfully, we'll go ahead, click on the home button and click on the three bar menu on the top right one more time. And this time we'll go ahead and click on list ROMs. If you want to add another ROM, then you click on add ROM. But now we'll go ahead and install Google Apps on Nitrogen OS. So we'll go ahead and click on list ROMs. And it is now going to list all the ROMs which we have installed. So we have Nitrogen OS and we have Pixel Experience. We need to install Google Apps on Nitrogen OS. So we'll go ahead and select Nitrogen OS. On the next screen, you can choose your different options. You can go ahead and delete wipe data, which will perform these activities on this specific ROM. We need to install Google Apps. We'll go ahead and select install zip. And now we will go to the ROMs folder where we have our Google Apps. We will select open Google Apps and then swipe to confirm the flash. Once Google Apps have installed successfully we'll go ahead click on the home button and now we have installed pixel experience rom nitrogen os and we have our primary rom as miui 10 based on android 9.0 pi before we go ahead and reboot let me tell you how you can update your roms and how you can root them so if you have to update your rom you'll again go ahead click on the three bar menu on the top right click on list roms and say you want to update pixel experience you'll go ahead and select this guy and then you'll go ahead and select install zip and select the updated pixel experience zip file and then swipe to confirm the flash similarly if you want to root your specific rom let's say we want to root nitrogen os we'll go ahead and select nitrogen os click on install zip and then you can go ahead and select your magisk zip file and then swipe to confirm the flash Back on to our recovery home screen, we'll go ahead and click on reboot and click on reboot system. On this next screen, we'll go ahead and click on cancel. And these are all the custom ROMs which are installed on my Xiaomi Poco F1 phone as of now. You go ahead and swipe right over here. You'll get different options like shutdown, reboot to bootloader, reboot to recovery. You can also go ahead and change the color if you want. I'll just go back over here. Let's go ahead and select Nitrogen OS. Click on Nitrogen OS one more time so that we can go ahead and boot into Nitrogen OS for the Xiaomi Poco F1 phone. All right, YouTube, we have successfully booted into Nitrogen OS. Let me go ahead and skip the setup. Back on Nitrogen OS home screen, you can see Google Play Store is there, which means Google Apps were installed successfully. Let's go into settings, scroll down, go into system, and there you have it. Nitrogen OS based on Android 9.0 Pi on the Xiaomi Poco F1 phone. Let's go ahead and turn our phone off. And now if we turn our phone back on, it should show us the multi-ROM boot menu one more time. We'll have to click on cancel and then we'll try booting into MIUI 10. Go ahead, click on cancel. And now we'll go ahead and select internal, click on internal one more time. And we should now boot back into MIUI 10. So there it is YouTube, we've successfully booted into MIUI 10. Let me go ahead and unlock, go into settings, Go into about phone and there it is miui 10 based on android 9.0 pi on your xiaomi poco f1 phone that's it for this video youtube we've successfully installed multi-rom and we have successfully installed multiple roms on our xiaomi poco f1 phone i hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you